Hello friends, this video on NEAT Human Health and Diseases is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we will quickly look at some of the microbes which act as biopesticides. Now what do we mean by biopesticides? Bio means life. Pesticides is obviously uh, anything that kills pests. So here we are going to talk about those living organisms which has the capability to kill pests therefore those living organisms act as biopesticides so we let's quickly look at a list of microbes and uh, they act as a pesticide against which particular pe pest so that's what we are going to look at here so the first microbe is lady so here we will talk about the microbes in the sense not only microorganisms but also living organisms as biopesticides so the first one is ladybird beetle so ladybird beetle is, uh, they are very specific predators. That is, they only prey on aphids. Aphids are the pests. They are like tiny insects. So ladybird beetle are predators and their prey are aphids. So basically, wherever they see aphids, they just eat them. They kill them and eat them. So that means ladybird beetle is a natural predator of aphids. However, they do not harm useful insects. So, they are very specific predators. So, the ladybird beetle is a specific predator of aphids. So, it only harms aphids, not other useful insects. So, therefore, it acts as a bioinsecticide because it kills insects. So, ladybird beetle acts as a bioinsecticide. Praying mantis. So, praying mantis is another such insect which feeds on aphids. So, praying mantis also is a natural predator of aphids and this is also a bioinsecticide. Dragonfly. So, dragonfly feeds on mosquitoes. So, dragonfly again is a natural predator of mosquitoes and is therefore a bioinsecticide. Bacterium thuringiensis which is often abbreviated as Bt. Bt is bacterium thuringiensis or bacillus thuringiensis. So this is a soil bacterium and this bacterium acts as a bioinsecticide because it kills the insect pests. Now how does it, in fact this is the first biopesticide to be used on a commercial scale. Now here you can say that this is a microbe because bacterium thuringiensis is a microorganism, right? So this is the first biopesticide to be used on a commercial scale. Now the question is how does it harm the insect pests? Now the spores of this bacterium produce an insecticidal cry protein. And this cry protein has the capability to kill insects. So spores of this bacterium can kill larvae of certain insects. So that's how it can attack the insects and therefore act as a bioinsecticide. So here you can remember that spores of this bacterium produce the cry protein, the cry protein which is insecticidal in nature. This protein has the ability to kill larvae of certain insects. Next one is Buberia bassania. So, Buberia bassania is again a microorganism which has the ability to kill pests like potato beetle, codling moth. So, it kills this. So, what is Buberia bassania? So, Buberia bassania is actually a fungus. So, this is a fungus and it acts as a parasite on various insects and that's why it acts again acts as a bioinsecticide. So, what is a parasite? Parasite means an organism which lives on other organism and derives its nutrition from that organism and also harms that organism. So, in this case, this fungus, Buveria bassania, it lives on these pests, derive its nutrition from the pests and finally harm them or kill them. Baculovirus heliothis. So, what is it? This, the name itself suggests that this is a virus which, which falls under the category of NPV virus. What is NPV? So NPV is nuclear polyhydrosis virus. Nuclear polyhydrosis virus. Now, this type of virus is very, very species specific. That means it attacks only specific species. And therefore, it is not commercialized on a very large scale because it cannot kill or it cannot harm any generalized insects. So they are very much insect specific or species specific. So one of the pests that it attacks is cotton ballworm and therefore it acts as a bioinsecticide. 
then we have cochineal insect which is which feeds on opuntia so what is opuntia opuntia is a weed that is unwanted plant which normally grows on some other plant and spoils the growth of that plant because it uh, you know kind of compete with that plant for the nutrition so it snatches away all the resources and therefore harms that plant so opuntia is an unwanted plant or weed so cochineal insect is a herbivore which feeds on opuntia so extensive growth of opuntia can be checked using uh, cochineal insect in fact this has been done in various countries like india and australia chrysolina beetles so this feeds on the klamath weed and therefore acts as a bioherbicide what is bioherbicide that means living organisms which harms or which kills herbs herbs are plants so as you see here uh, opuntia was a plant so an organism which feeds on opuntia which is a plant is called a bioherbicide similarly here klamath weed is also a plant so this chrysolina beetles they feed on these plants therefore they fall under the category of bioherbicide so bio pesticides are basically of two types these can be of two categories one is insecticides that is bio insecticide the other could be bioherbicides and finally the last microbe that we will discuss is phytophthora palmivora which feeds on or which harms the pests milkweed vine and this is also a bioherbicide so this phytophthora palmivora happened to be the first bioherbicide which is also a mycoherbicide because this phytophthora palmivora is basically a fungus so this is the fungus and these days you even get fungal spores which are available for weeds elimination now some of these fungal spores are divine collego which are available for weed specifically for weeds elimination so you can just remember this name phytophthora palmivora is the first bioherbicide now a fungus which acts as a bioherbicide is also known as a mycoherbicide mycoherbicide so this list tells you about some of the organisms which act as bio insecticides or bio herbicides thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you